Happy Monday, ESM. I'm Nolan. And I'm Colin. Well, we haven't talked about Spartan Pride on the show for a while today. Today, we wanted to talk about the experience. It's excellence. Uh, that's right. Unlike the Buffalo Bills yesterday, we'll have a lot of students in this school that exhibit excellence. Too, too soon? Uh, I think a little too soon. But first, let's take a look at our headline stories with Madison. A Liverpool man was sentenced to seven years in prison for possessing nearly a thousand grams of molly. A New York State trooper found 995.6 grams of the drug while searching the man's SUV during a traffic stop. He also admitted to possessing a loaded pistol, 140 rounds of ammunition, and $45,094 in cash from drug sales. Hall was sentenced to 84 months in prison. Baldwinsville Superintendent Jason D. Thomas is planned to resign effective June 30th, 2023. Thompson was charged with driving while intoxicated after he crowd surfed on a crowd of students at a football game in October. In December, he pleaded guilty in court to a lesser degree of driving while impaired. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Weight room will be closed on Tuesday, January 24th. See Coach Eschbacher if you have any questions. To introduce some of our awards and talk about their impact, especially in regards to clay and sculpture, we have a chance to meet up with Ms. Pillowa. Jumping right into the meat of it, we had to ask what were some of the highlights of the Scholastic Art Awards. Definitely watching our own students um, put all of their hard work into a project and then come out and win an award. So watching our students feel really proud about the effort that they put in and the end result of their artwork. What were some of the projects created by students that got selected into the Scholastic Art Awards? Um, in ceramics, we enter all sorts of projects. Hand-built projects, sculptural projects, things that were thrown on the wheel, and then also projects that are a combination of both, that are projects that was thrown on the wheel and then possibly altered or had sculptural elements added to it. So the whole gamut of what you can create out of ceramics, we try to include into the competition. How important are the Scholastic Art Awards for the students in the school in general? I think that it is important for students to try to compete in art competitions, especially locally competing against other high school students in the area. Um, of course, not everybody who makes fantastic artwork ends up winning an award. That's okay, and um, hopefully everybody understands that. But it does um, help motivate them to work a little bit harder on their piece. And when we take the field trip up there, I think that it can be very powerful for students to see their artwork hanging on a wall or in a display case in a legitimate art show uh, for the public to see. So they can see their artwork on the wall as if it was in a gallery, and that is very impactful for our students. Today we will have a high of 34 and a low of 29 with some snow showers and an inch of snow is expected and it's also going to be breezy and overnight we'll continue to have some snow. Now if you're wondering if that'll get us a snow day tomorrow, it's unlikely and we already have a virtual day so it's probably not going to happen. But Tuesday we'll have a high of 38 and a low of 26 with a few snow showers present in the day but no accumulation is going to be expected. For a quick ski report. You can expect some fresh snow, and both Song and Lab are going to be open every day until Friday until 9 p.m. That, I'm Grayson, with your weather. Next, we had a chance to hear from Mr. Sincata about the importance of Scholastic Awards are to the art program as a whole. I think they're important in context of giving students something to look forward to and to motivate them. And for the students who enjoy uh, the notion of, of competing uh, against other people or you know getting an objective lens from an outside source uh, about their artwork, um, it's a really, really valuable thing uh, for us. And as far as the program itself, it's, it's always great to like, to have people validate the program um, just by receiving the number of awards that the program receives um, and understand kind of, uh, you know, how we're measuring up, if you will, to, to programs um, in the region. 
Um, and that is kind of a, a large measuring stick because the CNY region is one of the largest regions in the country. Um, so to see a kid get like a gold medal or even a silver or an honorable against 5,000 other pieces of artwork, um, it's a good feeling for, for everyone involved, from the teachers and particularly for the students. We were also curious as to, other than the recognition, how these awards and the process affected our students individually. Um, I think like on an individual level, when students understand how the judging process works, um, sometimes it's, it's enlightening in, in a good way um, because, you know, again, if a student is up against um, 400, 500 drawings in a category um, or 300 other pieces of clay in, in a category and theirs is judged to be one of the best, then it goes on to nationals. I think sometimes there are students who don't necessarily believe that their artwork was as good as we're telling them. Um, and then having that, that outside source kind of, you know, validate what it is that they've done um, inspires them to really carry on and, and know like, wow, someone values what I'm doing. Um, and I think that, you know, conversely, there, there's this split hair of like any given day, a piece may be a gold or it may be an honorable mention or it might just not get noticed in the judging process. So we always try to bolster um, the kids emotions around the show and help them understand that like, you know, today might be a very good day. Somebody might see something in your artwork and, and judge it to be, you know, a gold or a silver and honorable or today might not be the day that somebody sees um, that special thing in your artwork. And that doesn't necessarily mean that it's not a, a great piece of artwork or that it's not valid. Um, it, it is just uh, part of the process of being in a, in a juried show and, um, and, and sometimes, you know, things go very, very well for us and sometimes they don't, but it's great to be In the NFL, the conference championship games are set as a rematch of last year's AFC championship game will take place as this weekend the Kansas City Chiefs took down the Jacksonville Jaguars 27-20 and the Cincinnati Bengals shocked the Buffalo Bills 27-10. On the NFC side, Jalen Hurts and the Eagles steamrolled the Giant New York Giants 35-7 and Brock Purdy and the 49ers continue their run with a 19-12 win over the Dallas Cowboys. The boys basketball team beat Fowler 62 to 47 over the weekend. They had four players in double digits with Cole Thomas leading the way with 15. Congratulations to ESM junior Akasha Nunley as she finished first in her division at the Girls Legacy uh, Tournament at Homer. She was 4-0 on the day. The boys and girls track teams had a great performance at the Bob Grieve Memorial Meet on Saturday for the girls of Bonnie McDuffie broke her own school record for her fourth time this year with a new school record of 7.23 in the 55 meter dash. Ivani is currently ranked fifth in the New York State in the 55 meter dash and the 4 by 200 meter relay team of Amber Hayes and Ari Anderson, Kaylee Maloof and Ivani McDuffie broke their own school record again with a new school record of a minute 50. For the boys, Sumit Kadaria tied the 55 meter dash record held by Rocky L with a time of 6.75. Abdiya Dunn got second in the 55 meter hurdles, Aiden Hurt got third in the 300 meter dash, Victor Rodriguez got fourth in the shot put and Luke Mancini got fifth in triple jump. In an upcoming news, the girls volleyball team will head to VVS at 7.30 and I'm Tanner with the sports. Congratulations to all those who participated in the Scholastic Awards and to those who won in their category. Keep up the good work. And for myself and those here at Spartan News, have a wonderful day.